Hey New York Red Bulls fans, Dax McCarty here. We're out here in East Hanover, New Jersey. Gonna give you a fun little tour of our, our new complex and show you guys how we, uh, how we prepare for every game. Here we have the meeting room slash video room. Very important for uh, doing some research on uh, where you messed up. I'll be in here a lot. Obviously we can fit plenty of guys in here. This is where a lot of the hard work gets done uh, in the video room. I believe this is Andy Roxburgh's office. You can tell because it's it's the biggest. This is our our new signing, Peggy Lillian Dula. Say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. <laughs> this is where all the, the press writes all those horrible things about me. What's up, Christian? What's up, Dax? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good to see you, Christian. So now we'll get to uh, to the most important and uh, I think the best part of the training facility right now and three fields that we have out here in the back. We have our two grass pitches side by side and then our turf field all the way there on the far side. There's not one single complaint that has come out of anyone's mouth. You, uh, if you have a bad touch, that's just you having a bad day at the office, that's not the field. Here we go, this is where the uh, the main players and staff come out. If you, if you notice, it's probably about 10, 12 feet. Right immediately you have the, uh, the boot room, which uh, obviously is very important because you want to keep this place clean. So no boots inside the, uh, the facility. We'll uh, move on, we'll take you to the cafeteria where guys stuff their face. Here's the cafeteria. Got a few guys uh, enjoying themselves here. This is uh, Johnny Steele eating some yogurt. Say hi Johnny. <laughs> Fridge. And uh, this is this is the spread. Usually, it's very uh, very nutritious and very healthy. Just the pyramid of foods that you need to uh, to be a high level athlete. That's when I uh, that's when I go down the road and grab my cheeseburger from uh, from McDonald's when they're not looking. Just kidding. We'll show you guys the other side of the place where uh, Mike Petke's office is. Shh, let's sneak up on him. He's pretending to be on the phone. Yeah, Dax. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Wait. <laughs> so this is Mike. He's actually on the phone. Let's hear. Let's hear who he's trading me for. That's the bag of bulls. <laughs> you don't need anybody back. Oh, look. Are we touring the new facility. Yeah, we are. It's the second tour. Oh, you know. Man, what's going on, buddy? How I don't know. I just feel like I, I'm a tour guide now these days. Oh no, I think you have that talent. <laughs> You know, you I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a career after soccer. So yeah. this is my tryout. Well, after they watch this video, they're just gonna line up. I hope so. Well, I, I got a job at. I think I got a job at Disney World lined up after this. Nice. We'll go to a place that I should be in more, and that I'm in every day, doing uh, beach curls and um, push-ups, sit-ups, seven-minute abs, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, the weight room, which is directly connected to our locker room, so. This is uh, this is pretty nice. It's funny because guys have to come straight from the locker room through the weight room if they want to get to the field or if they want to get to the training room or if they want to get to the cafeteria. So hopefully those guys that aren't in the weight room very much, it makes them think twice about it. That was one thing that uh, the designers of this place got right. There's Brandon Barklage. As you can see, we're very lucky with uh, with what we have here, and we have everything we need to uh, to be a successful team. And now it's just down to uh, down to the players to make it happen. So thanks for joining, and we hope you guys enjoyed the facility just as much as we do.